Well, it's an amazing uh, clarity to me. It's come clear as a bell that uh, the fight for America's soul is ongoing right now. You have the atheists under Obama. Not only are they uh, mimicking the ex-Soviet Union with regard to their atheism, which is naked, but also with regard to their desire to control people's lives from cradle to grave, meaning the government, the heavy hand of government, state control, central planning, the way it was done in the Soviet Union. Many of you don't even understand what that means and where it goes. You know that we have uh, a government under Barack Obama who nationalized the auto industry by taking over General Motors. Well, he bailed out his friends in the banking business. In essence, it was a soft uh, nationalization, and many of them paid back the loans. Some did not. What you don't know is that where this leads, this idea of a government that is so overbearing, is that eventually private property is nationalized, as it was in Russia, where every family in the country is given a room. So if you think that you're a good Democrat and you live somewhere in Westfield, Connecticut, and that you're immune from what could happen, you're mistaken. They will put homeless people in your house if they could. I can guarantee you if the Democrats could do it, they would analyze how many couples in this country have more than one house. We're going to seize those houses and we're going to give them to the homeless. After all, why should they have 10 houses or 9 or 8 or 7 or 5 when you've got people uh, in the gutters? Give them the houses because that's fairness. Same as tax the rich. Tax the rich till there's no longer any rich. Same thing, fairness. So watch out for the word fairness and come back to bite you in the you-know-what. In Russia, we know where fairness led. It led to the government seizing property. It led to the government under Joseph Stalin in the 1930s seizing private farms. The government said that they were so much smarter than the profiteers who were raising the wheat in the Soviet Union when the Soviet Union was able to feed itself. The central planners seized the farms, turned them into collective farms, and they shot the farmers. They called them uh, counter-revolutionaries. They shot the farmers. V vast starvation, mass starvation occurred in the Soviet Union because, as you well know, they ran the farms the same way the U.S. government currently runs a uh, mail service in the United States. They couldn't grow sufficient wheat to feed their population. And this is what happens with uh, Ivy League lunatics like Obama in office, people who have never had a lemonade stand, never worked a day in their life, never created a service, never created a product that anybody ever needed. All he did was shuffle papers and give speeches. This is what happens when you have arrogant Ivy Leaguers like Michelle Obama, who lies about her hard past when she had an elitist past, a past given to her on a silver spoon, inventing a past of hardship when it never existed. It's sickening.